Yo. Yo, yo. Can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome. Can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Good job, good, good job. Good to see you. I'm super excited for this. Um, Likewise, ladies. It's been a while. I know, I know. It's been forever. Um, and so I'm super excited to get into um, a lot of the questions, catch up a little bit, um, and also yeah, yeah. share some really uh, good information with some of our viewers. I'm going to give us just a little bit more time for people to uh, clock in. Um, but as you all are coming in, um, just to introduce the idea behind the show, this is Ink Therapy. Um, we have an amazing artist with us today, Ty Viper out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, Ink Therapy is all about having good conversation, shit talking, knowledge dropping, all about everything tattoos. Um, the fun stuff. The fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fun stuff. Exactly. The tattoo industry. All of it. <laughs> We're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great session today. Um, and today's session specifically is brought to us by uh, the Tatted App, which I'm super excited to talk about too. That's where I got my super cool bandana from. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the Tatted App is a new app uh, that is being currently developed, so people can sign up. Um, to join the wait list. Um, it allows you, it's kind of like a, a kayak for tattoo artists. So um, it allows you to search tattoo artists based upon certain styles, location, pricing. Um, even you can enter a specific keyword. So I'm super excited to be working That's with Tatted. Yeah. Um, yeah, the app is going to be released uh, later on this year. So um, make sure that everyone who's viewing, um, go ahead and follow them. Their Instagram is at Tatted, T-A-T-T-D underscore app. All right. If you don't have a drink, get a drink. I, what? I feel like this is a, this is a, <laughs> I knew you had one. Mm. I was talking to everybody. <laughs> All day. Is this a daiquiri? Day. Is this a daiquiri? Nah, it's like a personal mixture or something. You know, it's Sunday. <laughs> you know. Personal mixture. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> a Sunday is a. I'm about to chill, draw some shit, and get fucked up. I love it. I was just about to say that. I know the personal mixture is guaranteed to to get uh, get somebody fucked up. So I'm I'm in. Oh yeah, yeah, that. absolutely. I love it. I love it. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, again, thanks for joining, y'all. Um, I am here today with an amazing artist named Ty Viper out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, as I said before. Um, Ty has done a lot of amazing things that you all are going to hear about in just a little bit. Um, been tattooing for about 15 years. Um, been featured on, right, fully committed. To the, <laughs> fully committed to the craft. No, no. You can't like, turn it around nothing. after no. 15 years, you know? I tried. No, you didn't. No. Tell me. When did you try to get, you like, tried to stop? Um eight years ago I moved to uh Tampa going okay. to um art school and I was like all right, I'm tired of like the people, uh the pressure. So I'ma just stop. I literally stopped for like a month and a half. I got like a a regular job. Nice. Man. How how'd that work out? Nope. Didn't. We're, nope. We're right you back know with me. I like nice ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that so paycheck good. and I was like, nope. Your regular job couldn't nope. keep up with your taste. Nope. <laughs> Little ass baby ass checks. Like, Bruh. No, Bruh, I was I like, oh no. <laughs> nah. Not, we're not going to do this. Who next? <laughs> <laughs> Who next? <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm taking I clients now. Exactly. Exactly. I know I'm very thankful that you chose to come back after that that little bit of a hiatus um and i'm sure that uh everyone who's watching will, will begin to understand why we are very thankful for you uh, making the switch back over into, into i got a bunch action. of stories <laughs> love it love it we'll get we'll get right into it so um one of the things that i always start out with for any artist interview is kind of allowing you to share a little bit more about yourself and your background um Specifically for me, I wanted to know, like, tell us a little bit about your journey and like how that led you to tattooing. Well, my parents said I actually started drawing when I was like two, like mm -hmm. before I could walk, I was like 
scribbling on like walls, floors, like things. So I was like, all right, cool. But then like around like five, there was like, wait. You're actually he, good at that. Yeah, <laughs> like he's drawing. So I was like, all right, cool. And then like as time passed, a lot of people are in school like, oh, I want to be a cop or a fire, fireman. I was like, nah, I'm either going to draw or I'm trying to be um, Bruce Lee. Love it. Well, since Bruce Lee was impossible, <laughs> I guess that I'm going to be drawing. That already taken. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So I was like, all right, cool. So I'm going to just draw. And it was just like, I actually felt then the same I do now that school is kind of it's kind of like a generalized like waste of time like mm -hmm. find a craft practice mm -hmm. that push the kids towards mm -hmm. talent and then mm -hmm. like elevate yeah so um i got out of high school i did a stint in um the military i got mm -hmm. out of that and mm -hmm. super depressed mm -hmm. A friend of mine was like, bro, you should just let me teach you to um, tattoo. Mm -hmm. And at first I was like, no, because I hate people. And, but and you have to interact with a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. But then, like, the more I drew, I drew on them, the mm -hmm. more it came from a thing of this is a very, like, honorable thing. Like, for someone to choose me out of, like, millions of artists, to um personally paint on them. So I was like, man, this is bigger than me. Like mm -hmm. this is a therapy session for the people going through, through loss, um, celebrations, mm -hmm. depression. So I was like, mm -hmm. I could do this. Like You're literally like stamping commemorating huge milestones for people like on a daily basis. Helping right. them. Like, so I'm like this is my legacy. Um, this is my mark on the world. Absolutely. I 100% love that. I do think that there are some artists out there who don't necessarily understand the weight that comes with the work that you all do. Um, and so it's just great to hear, you know, you explain like your understanding um, and depth of knowledge around like how important the pieces that you're putting on your clients like really are. Um, I love hearing that because I know that that's not the way everybody thinks. You know, some people. Well, uh, yeah. I live and live and breathe art, so mm -hmm. it's a thing of from the people who actually like taught me. They're mm -hmm. like painters, sculptors. Mm -hmm. Like they just mm -hmm. build new things. So, so on skin, it's another like medium, but it's living. Like, right. it's going to, like, leave and, like, walk around and everything else. So, we'll be like, man, it's great. But I think a lot of them now see the popularity now, mm -hmm. the rock star kind of life. Trendy. And the money. <laughs> so, yeah. it's like, all right, yeah. So, I mean, you have, like, if you have 20 artists, you actually may have three, like, really good ones. Mm-hmm. Very true. Very, <laughs> yeah. I I want you to kind of speak about your style because I hear you saying like a lot about how much it means for you to create this piece specifically for, you know, the person who it's for. So would you say that your style is like adaptable and you can, you know, you tr more so try to cater to your clients or do you have like a specific style that you try to, you know, stick to that is, you know, a way of you expressing your own, you know, art? you hit it on the head. Like, <laughs> in reference to, of course, Bruce Lee, mm -hmm. you got to be like water. You got to be formless. Mm -hmm. So whatever comes in, you can create for that person, not just good, but great. That's beautiful. So it's a thing of constantly practicing, mm -hmm. researching, drawing, Mm -hmm. Um, just do so if a client comes in, you, you can't say, well, nah, right. I can't, I can't. Even so, though there are some artists who do that. I like there that are. though. Oh no, yeah. that, yeah. that is great. Know your lane. 
mm. know it. Like, if you can't do a portrait, do, right. do not fuck up a person trying that shit because then <laughs> it's the worst. It is... My job gets hard. <laughs> Yeah, then you have to to cover your shit. (laughs) (laughs) I made a post the other day just about um, artists, like, or people, clients in general, like, needing to understand that they don't need to let every or any artist tattoo portraits of their babies. No, right, yeah. Because literally, it's the worst. I'm like, that is not your baby. That is not like them at all. You know why? (laughs) A lot of people just do it, like, for the money. You have to like research in to do say okay hey your child isn't going to take on features of the parents until at least three years old right i'm not tattooing your infant son on you it's still like just a breathing fetus at the moment like no (laughs) bro (laughs) bro no and at least do it good if you're gonna tattoo uh, the 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 baby at least just do a good job of what the baby looked like then. That's all I'm asking. And so many people fuck it up all the time. So I love, uh, I love your advice. What up, baby? Right. <laughs> I, I love uh, your advice about stay in your lane. That's, that's great. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Because if I can't do it, which a lot of people know, you do know, that's rare. Yeah. But if I can't, I'm going to be like, hey, this person can. Right. So yeah. go over there. Like, I don't mind it. Like, yeah. I'm like, no, because I can't reach everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that. I um, What you're saying, you know, about staying in your lane, being aware of, you know, what you're capable of doing and also being able to share, um, you know, that, that wealth, the clientele, you know, not being stingy or selfish around, you know, oh, no, I want to keep these people to myself. Um, so I'm not going to refer them just makes me think a lot about um, just the lessons that you've learned as you've gone through, you know, this time of you being an artist these past 15 years. But I'm kind of interested in lo- knowing a little bit more about what tattooing has taught you in your life. Well, it has definitely taught me a variation of art hmm. because I absolutely hate it realism like years ago i thought it was boring like it's an actual picture like if you (laughs) can like draw you can copy a picture right but it's so much more Mm -hmm. into it Mm -hmm. so it was that the um it actually taught me social skills Mm. i love that because you have to talk to everybody to get paid. So it's kind of like, oh, promoting because at first I was a real, like, keep to myself, kind of like a lot of like artists are, just real closed in, keep to yourself mm-hmm. and just draw. But tattooing makes you sociable. It makes you um interact. And the whole community as a whole Mm -hmm. which has changed because at first the industry was extremely like segregated right it's changing now and and you know me i'm controversial i'll talk about like shake shit up (laughs) yeah because i mean at the first the white community wouldn't would not look our way Mm -hmm. for apprenticeships, anything. Mm -hmm. So we actually had to unify as Black people to help out to create the lanes. Like people like Maya, Mm -hmm. Tukey, Kirk, Mm -hmm. Craig, like all these guys kind of just was like, all right, since no one else will teach us, I'll teach us. Mm-hmm. And it's just going on and on and on to where now you you have people like Ryan, who is on TV yeah. shows now and stuff. So, I mean, at first it wasn't like Definitely. the craziest thing was I walked into a convention one time and I literally heard them say, oh, it's another black dude tattooing. What's he going to do? Some street signs, some prayer hands, some names. And I was like, damn. 
Oh gosh. <laughs> but then I started drawing. Yeah. And it went from that to, oh man, that's dope. Blah blah blah. I'm like, nah, bro. I heard what you said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't try to switch it up now. <laughs> yeah. Uh uh-uh, uh. Uh uh-uh. uh. Right. Keep it real. Right. Yeah, it's super important, uh, you know, to acknowledge all of those, um, you know, big names in the tattoo industry, the people who have committed to, you know, turning inward and, you know, teaching within the community. I think that that's something that I will always be appreciative of. And I think that that's something we need to continuously make sure that we're doing. Um, you know, I do see the possibility of, you know, people, you know, laying in selfishness and, you know, being insecure, being unsure about, you know, where their next check is coming from. But at the end of the day, that should not deny us from, or prevent us rather from, you know, being willing to share like the story and the tradition and the art, you know, with each other. Like there's, it's so, there's so many other people out there who are against us. Like we need to definitely, oh yeah, um, Lord, um, you know, it definitely takes a village. Um, so I appreciate you speaking on that. Uh, speaking of TV and Ryan and, you know, all those other important people who I'm sure, you know, we have seen them on the screen when color, um, you know, outside the lines documentary, you were on Ink Master, um, Ink Angels. Yeah. Tell us about your experience there. And I'm interested more so to hear about how that changed your perspective around reality TV and the tattoo industry, you know, kind of coming together? Well, it's, it didn't change much because I'm naturally competitive. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's the TV is TV. Right. (laughs) I'm gonna say that, like TV is definitely that. It's not, it's not real, it's not real life. It's not real life. It's not the real life because so many people criticize me for do being such an asshole on mm-hmm. TV. But for it. the people it. who know, <laughs> they're like, that's kind of him, but it's not him. Yeah, it was definitely a character, but it was yes. like, you're, for those of you who haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. Um, you can find it on, I think, um, Ink's website or Ink's yeah. YouTube. Um, um, YouTube. Yeah, that you yeah. should definitely go see it. Ty it's is, funny. It's he, funny. <laughs> you definitely fell into the role, and I absolutely love it. Like how you said, it's definitely you, but I feel like it's more an exaggerated version of you, yeah. which is exactly what entertainment needs. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I, yeah. I feel like you did that perfectly. Um, so what? Yeah. What Let me turn this light on. The yeah, no problem. I actually need to check my iPod too. Because in a second, we're going to play Never Have I Ever. I'm super excited for that. Are you taking up any apprenticeships in the near future? Okay, we'll ask him that when he gets back. All right. Had to get us a little light. Let that be light. You look so much better now. Now we can see. (laughs) Uh, You know, some people turn on the light and we're like, no, turn it on. No, wait. Wait. Shit. Move but, back. Yeah, so what do, what do you think about this whole new trend of everything turning into reality TV, including, like, and how, how do you think, if you think it is affecting the tattoo industry, how do you think it's affecting it? It is. Okay. It is because of TV allows people to think that they can get these big, extravagant, extremely, like, detailed pieces done all at one time. Mm-hmm. In some cases, yeah, but that all depends on content, um, the person's skin tone, skin mm-hmm. texture, mm-hmm. Um, the person's physical health, mm-hmm. um, color pigments, and just technical skill. Mm-hmm. But on the show, of course, you have like six hours. That part's real. Yeah. But it hits a crunch thing. Like, you're only focused on, mm-hmm. I got to finish, I got to finish, I got to finish, I got to finish. So you're actually giving it your all, but whenever you're at home, you have more time to mm-hmm. focus on, like, the smaller things and the client's health and mm-hmm. just I get that. Um, everything, like, overall, like yeah. swelling and just mm-hmm. so. Do you, do you think that that 
setting changes the experience for the client? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's always been concerning for me. Um, you know, I think that the, the shows definitely serve an awesome purpose. They're exciting. They're entertaining. Oh, yeah. But then, um, you know, there's also a part of me that has a little bit of concern um, because I'm not sure if, and maybe this is just me and my preference, but from, you know, my experience, I think that the most meaningful tattoo sessions that I've had, you know, aren't the ones where we're rushing and where, you know, there's pressure and there's stress, you know, I just... That that's a little concerning for me, um, but I guess maybe you know it depends on the client and what they like, and maybe that's for some people. Maybe it's well, for others. I will say this for the uh, competitions: it mm -hmm. is to the second, mm -hmm. to the minute, like every second counts. Right. As opposed to when whenever you're at home, like mm -hmm. like your client can stop and eat take a break, go to the bathroom without going, I got to get back, I got to get back, I got to get back. And they, you were going, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So it'll definitely bring out the um, best in you, but mm -hmm. you also make careless uh, mistakes I get that. because you're so focused on, I got to finish this. Yeah, yeah. I get that 100%. So, uh, very scary stuff. Also very entertaining stuff. <laughs> um, uh, so definitely, once again, if you have not seen the show yet, please go visit um, very funny. YouTube. It is very funny, very entertaining. Um, and I I'd love to see you on there doing your thing. Um, we're going to make a switch back to, um, uh, I guess, the deeper questions, if you will. Um, again, this show is called Ink Therapy. Um, I feel like like the the origin of this came from my experience with being tattooed and how therapeutic it could be for me. Um, and I think that, um, you know, sharing that conversation with a lot of people, a lot of people could understand and identify with that. Um, and yes, we will get to the apprenticeship question in just a second. Yep. <laughs> um, but before we do that one, um, I'm, I'm wondering what your thoughts are on why tattooing has been therapeutic for so many? Um, and also, if you believe it's therapeutic for yourself, how has it been therapeutic for you? Well, um, psychologically, they actually compare it to people who cut themselves. Mm. It's kind of a, the same kind of release to your the brain on right. pain is mm -hmm. pleasure. Mm -hmm. But you're also getting a a piece of work to help you to think about what was happening then in a your new life and you look back and be like man i know exactly what happened when i got this yeah and it was like okay cool 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 but i think it's a way for people to just really express who they are without like any judgment because mm -hmm. tattoo artists are pretty much like oh that what you want? I'm not going to ask you why. Because I'm like, all right. But if I do, I'm pretty sure there's some crazy ass like story Deep. behind it. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I right, get that. Right. But all right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's cool that sometimes you know, it's not all just one definition of like something deep. Like you said, it's kind of like just a cool story sometimes. Sometimes it's something funny that happens. Sometimes it's to commemorate. Or it's just cool. <laughs> Yeah, or it's just cool, or it just looks dope as hell. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I, I love that 100%. And I think that the idea of something being therapeutic doesn't have to have the same meaning for everyone. Like, doesn't have to be like, right. oh my God, it was this journey that I went through and I cried and I broke down and then I built myself back up. Like, it doesn't have to be that. Like, therapy can also just be entertaining <laughs> and it can be funny and laughing and having a good time, you know? So yeah. um, I definitely, you know, appreciate you pointing that out. Uh, well, that but, and mm -hmm. that it creates friendships because mm -hmm. some of a, my uh, closest friends have come from mm -hmm. tattooing. Right. Whether it's it's with another artist or a longtime client, and we mm -hmm. just kind of kick it and hit it off, and it's like, oh man, this right. is a cool person. Yeah. 
Definitely, definitely. And I can say that about us. I'm over here just like looking at my arm. <laughs> my life. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Healed up great. Yes, no, for sure. Healed up great, yeah. For sure. I still think that I want to, I haven't made a decision. For those of you who didn't know, Ty started this sleeve for me. I also have other tattoos by him. Um, yeah. This worthy on my forearm are these snowflakes that we need to finish from when we she, first met. She tricked me to doing some script. Everybody knows <laughs> I don't do script. but No, that's not even the part. It's the snowflakes. I, I love my script. Even though Ty does not do script, this, I love my script. I, it's the most beautiful thing I like I, it too. Ever. 100%. But the snowflakes behind my Malcolm X the first that, yep. tattoo that Ty yep. did on me whenever when we met. Um, and we definitely got to we gotta hit those in a second. I was, like, uh, super nervous, too. <laughs> because... That was a different story for a different day. Man. <laughs> different story, different show, different... <laughs> man. When, when you come back for your second interview with Inkton, yeah. we'll get into man. that. But I think I need another glass of wine before we... Um, Start that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we did have a question uh, from some of our viewers. Um, one of the questions was, "Are you taking apprenticeships um, anytime soon?" Um, yes and no, because I'm actually leaning into doing with the um pandemic is video mm -hmm. seminars. Mm -hmm. Just just on like technical basics. Yeah. Like line work, line building, like those kind of things first. Because so, so many people now um, try to skip all of that and get mm -hmm. to like, oh, a bunch of clients, mm -hmm. custom work. And it's like, nah, it took me literally all 15 years and right. I'm still doing it. Right. Yeah. It's so, a constant work. And I feel like that's with anything that you really yeah. want to master and perfect. It's a, every day you're building and, um, you know, growing and learning something new. So 100% love you pointing that out. So yes and no. That was the, yep. the summer. Yep. summer yes and, and yeah. no. Yep. And, <laughs> I love how vague it is. <laughs> uh, I might, but I might not. No, yeah, I'm like, yeah. If you're interested in, um, you know, serving as an apprentice to Ty, if you're interested in getting work done by him, for sure, definitely check out his page. I've posted it um, at the bottom of this live. Um, his Instagram is the Viper T H A V I P E R. Um, so, shifting gears again, um, we're gonna play a little fill in the blank question. Mm. And then we're going to get back to the fun stuff. We're going to end up um, with, with a fun game. But for Phil What's the his best. favorite style to tattoo? Oh. I don't have one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as we talked about earlier, Ty is the type to cater to, you know. Yeah, I just do it. Yeah. It's fun for me. For sure. For sure. And I, I can definitely vouch and say, and you all will see once you go visit his Instagram page, that there's a lot of different styles that he's really good at. So. Definitely um, go check him out there. Uh, first, fill in the blank. Someone in the tattoo industry who inspires me. To this day, Craig Foster. Awesome. Tell that us a little bit about Craig. He's done this piece. <laughs> I have a piece about him on my leg. Um, it, he was the first black artist that I saw that really tattoos exactly how he draws mm -hmm. and it was just like i was like wow because mm -hmm. for so so uh many years it was oh you can't draw this this mm -hmm. detailed because it's going on darker skin and everything mm -hmm. else so i was tricked at first to do going well damn like i so really gotta uh, dumb it down yeah but then when i saw him i was like Mind blown. Yep, I was like, oh, that's 100%. the dude. 100%. <laughs> that's the dude. Yeah, and I love the, just your explanation about, you know, well, your honesty about how you had to, like, keep pushing through that because the, all the stereotypes that there are in the tattoo industry, and it's not just about dark skin, but there are a lot of stereotypes about um, 
brown skin, skin textures, you know, if you have certain conditions um, or, you know, certain diseases, there's a lot of stereotypes about stuff that you can and can't do. Um, so just, I'm glad that you mentioned that because I definitely want to encourage like all of our viewers to push through the stereotypes. Most of the time, nine times out of 10, it's bullshit. And yep. um, in order for us to break through them, you have to- 9.5. <laughs> out of 10 nine, 9.5 <laughs> out of 10 for sure yeah um, so yeah i love that you were able to do that and then obviously able to find um you know such an amazing artist like him him i would say him and shannon anderson he's in okay. california okay he owns um mo better uh tattooing Bomb. so he's yeah just their work inspired me to Mm. push mm -hmm. just go because i'm seeing like big pieces and it's all like textures and details and i'm like so this can be done on black people too right right all right it, the people who teach you that you know absolutely nothing i feel like are the most valuable people like to, oh, to, yes. be, to, to like surround yourself with like absolutely. i constantly am looking for someone to wow me so i can just remind myself that i really don't know as much as i could know and there's constantly opportunities for me to that's the thing about. you constantly learn like i never feel like i'm just at a peak it's nope yeah. I could be better. For sure. It's something else I'm I'm lacking. I feel that way now. <laughs> Next question. In ten years, the tattoo world will still be booming. Because yes. it's, it's yeah. not going away. Like like it has changed from tattoos being for select groups select people to where now if you don't have it you're the weirdo now mm. so it's a fashion um accessory now but i still think for the people who actually love it for the art mm -hmm. it's gonna so keep sure. on going and like i would say with each year there's something new mm. happening mm -hmm. like a new style, a technique. Yeah. Um, color palettes are increasing. Like it is, it is switched from just regular people tattooing to actual artists and painters and sculptors are doing it now. So people who actually live uh, art every day. Yeah. yeah. The bar is being pushed. Definitely. So it's like, hey man, you got to keep up or get you out. Phase out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're gonna for phase out. For sure. Uh, I will be remembered for everything. Mm. <laughs> everything. Everything <laughs> I have <laughs> ever done, good and bad. Mm. Love that. Because I feel both of them build character on both ends. Mm -hmm. Because you actually learn from the good and the bad, which. <laughs> I feel like that's a opinion because you don't actually know something's bad until mm -hmm. you classify it as being bad. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with good, because it's like, oh, you were probably considered something bad because you didn't learn anything from it, but mm -hmm. something good because it changed your life, mm -hmm. which both can happen. So sure. I feel like everything. Yeah. I love that answer. I don't. I think that's the first time we got that answer, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> um, when I'm tattooing, a sure way to piss me off is to grab my hand or keep moving. No, I have had someone grab my actual machine while Party I am foul. working. Party Yo, <laughs> I was like, you could square up. Because <laughs> you're trying to fight me. <laughs> That's how I feel. Because you are being totally disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. So Maybe they're hurting. Tattoos hurt. <laughs> That's real. It's something you got to wrap your mind around. And yeah. I feel like there's a lot of other things I could have done besides grab your machine. At that point, it's oh, like yeah. a safety issue, you know? So I could definitely, I could definitely understand that. Um, last one. First time tattoo recipients should. 
always eat a big meal before your session because yeah. I don't want you passing out on me because you can seriously like hurt yourself and then it's legal problems going on and I'm like, hey, I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money. Right. <laughs> Period. Period. This this chain, Period. it's not even. Yeah. What? This is not my chain. I'm this? No. Nah. I don't know what you're talking about. Start tucking. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't make sure I ain't. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but that and get a good night's sleep mm -hmm. because your body is about to go through a tremendous amount of stress. Right. So eat and sleep. Take care of yourself. Yeah, like treat it like it is going to be the medical a long day. that it is. Yeah, a long day. It is. That is exactly it, 100%. <laughs> All right. We're going to switch gears and end with something fun. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> so uh -oh. uh, for those of you who have watched the show before, you know we always end up with um, a game, and so the game can either be uh, this or that, um, or never have I ever, or any other game that, you know, we come up with. So, for today's show, we have decided that we're going to play Never Have I Ever with Ty. And so, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the game, Ty's going to put up ten fingers. Um, I'm going to read off statements um, that start off with Never Have I Ever, um, such as never have I ever um, worn a bandana. And if Ty's wearing a bandana, which he's not, he'll put a finger down if it's true about him and he'll keep his fingers up if it's not true about him. I'm not sure if I explained that very well, but we're still going to uh, <laughs> just dive right in. It's worth a try, yep. <laughs> All righty, hold on, let me pull up the questions. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure whatsoever. They're I know you though. Sure. You gonna, are insane. <laughs> you are insane. Be a mixture of tattoo and 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 um and non tattoo um questions. All right, here we go. What's up, folks? Hey, everybody saying whoa, speaking to stuff. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to read, <laughs> but it's going too fast. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah, I love. If you have any other questions or comments before we uh, finish up, please put them in the chat and we'll definitely address them um, before we end. What is happening? Oh, here we go. All right. Never have I ever. Forgotten an appointment. I've done it. <laughs> Never have I ever lied about my age. Never have I ever spied on my neighbors. Never have I ever regretted a tattoo. Never have I ever lied to get a job. Never. Everybody did that. <laughs> it's definitely. I feel, it's like, definitely, definitely. I feel like that's just like a normal human. Thing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. if you don't do that, then something's wrong with you, actually. <laughs> Can you do this? Oh, yeah. After you get the job. What the fuck is that again? Yeah. <laughs> I can learn. That, that's actually what I meant. Yep. I can do is I can learn. That's it. <laughs> Let me go home and YouTube this real quick. Oh, I can do that shit. <laughs> Never have I ever done a portrait. <laughs> Never have I ever gone to jail. I've never gone to jail. <laughs> That's that is record. surprising. Especially for tattoo artists. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Especially for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> no. you know, I'm about all the shit. <laughs> Ty is definitely with the shits. Well, I'm saying. Never, never have I ever tattooed while under the influence. Ooh. <laughs> never have I ever 
gotten kicked out of a bar. <laughs> Never have I ever tattooed somebody's mom. <laughs> Never have I ever... Oh, some of these are really good, but I'm like, so we picked it. Really. Hey, hey. <laughs> Gotten into Fire. a gruesome fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Never have I ever peed in a swimming pool. All right, well, you end it with one. That's better than none. Yep, yep, yep. I got one. You got one. That's a good place to start. I got one. Start. I got one. I got <laughs> that one. is an awesome place to start. Well, thank you for playing around with me. Thank you for being available for the interview. Um, of course, after coronavirus is over, whenever that's going to be, when we have a vaccine and life is back Something. to normal, yeah. um, I'm definitely going to uh, do a group therapy session where we have a bunch of people um, in the room and it's, you know, um, kind of like just a round table discussion type thing. So I'm super excited to have you and a bunch of other amazing artists on that. Um, but that brings us to our close for tonight. Uh, again, I thank you so much for being available to talk to us about this. Um, any last words before we close it out for the night and I finish my glass of wine? <laughs> we <Oop. laughs> Cheers to that then. Thank you everyone for coming out and viewing. Um, again, this video will be um, on the on my page. So if you- I'll post it online too. Yes, awesome, yeah. awesome. So it will be there for people to watch and see. Um, again, this is Ty Viper. Make sure you follow him right now. Um, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Follow her. This is the tattoo booker, tattoo <laughs> broker. All that. Booking, broking. <laughs> all, all that. that. <laughs> she finds her way to find all of us weirdos and say, hey, I got some I more like weirdos for you. That you're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's work together. But yes, yeah, for sure. I definitely appreciate you. Um, if you all have not realized by now, he's a very talented artist, um, very uh, educated and experienced in a lot of different styles. So go check his page out right now. And we'll see you next time. Peace and blessings, folks. Bye, guys.